um, he's been through a lot. You know, he's been through a lot. So a lot of times when he vent out and say certain things on social media, you know, I'm older, I'm wiser. You know, I was once his age, so um, I don't really worry about what the media say when they try to, when they want us to go against one another. Meaning, I've always told him, um, I came and got you from the beginning because I wanted to see you be great. I wanted to see you do great pay-per-view numbers. I wanted, to, I wanted to see you win. And that goes for every fighter that was ever under my banner. I never got involved in this, got involved with fighters to make money from them. I wanted to put them in a position so they can make a lot of money, so they can make a lot of revenue, not just inside the ring, but on the outside of the ring. So a lot of times when Tank vents out on social media, he's, he's been through a lot, you know, throughout his life. So, but I take my hat off to him. I'm proud of him. Uh, Saturday night we had a game plan. Um, and, you know, a lot of times when he says certain things on social media, I say, you know, he's, he's, to me, he's still a kid. And when I was that age, I probably would have did the same thing. I didn't have a Floyd Mayweather to stand behind me and tell me, you know, about what's right and what's wrong. Um, he got the job done, but m my hat off to Ryan Garcia, tough competitor, tough fighter, and the best man won. We all approach things in a different way. You know, I could really say something negative. I could really say something positive. Mm -hmm. But when it's all said and done, Oscar De La Hoya is not, he's not my promoter. He was one of, once um, an opponent of mine. And we all, we all approach situations in a different way. Rather Tank was to win or he was to be on the other side and take a loss, I would have stood right there behind him 100%. And it's no different from you guys seeing a lot of times Tank vent out on social media, but I'm, I'm right there. He's, he's, still, he's young. Mm -hmm. So um, if I'm with you, I'm with you through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And I've always spoke about loyalty. Loyalty is a lifestyle. It's not an action. I'm proud of these young guys. I'm happy that, that I was able to hand the baton to so many young fighters and also that I was able to bring so much money to the smaller weight classes. There's so much talent in the sport of boxing and all the young fighters that's on the rise. I'm proud of, I'm proud of them all. I will continue to have fun, entertain, until I'm ready to say, you know what, enough is enough. And I'm pretty sure that's his job to go out there June 11th and step on the gas and say, you know what, get away from the sport. But I will, I will continue to help young fighters grow. Um, we had a successful event Saturday in Las Vegas, and I'm pretty sure June 11th we will have another successful event. I believe when certain opportunities present themselves in life, you take the fullest advantage of it, you know, and Floyd is somebody since I'm eight years old. This was my idol. This was a guy I did school projects on. This is a guy I looked up to. So the fact that I'm in this position to stand across the ring from Floyd is a tremendous honor. But make no mistake, June 11th, I'm bringing bad intentions to that man. And I don't care if an exhibition or not, you signed to fight me, it's no quarter. So it's kill or be killed. Another big event, I'm pretty sure it's going to be um, a crazy crowd. I'm pretty sure, you know, just with his, his following and, and my following just together, you know, bringing us together um, to get the fans some excitement, you know, um, in June. Of course, everyone wants to have some excitement in the summertime, but um, I've been here so many times, you know. I've been fighting since 1987 to now, so... Um, I know what it takes when, you know, at any level, whether it's this, from the smallest from the smallest level to the highest level, I know what it takes. So um, I'm just happy to be here. So the question I have for you is that how does it feel 
to now be face to face with one of your legends and now be a rival. How does that, how does that occur for you? First and foremost, I want to give my condolences to Floyd for his friend. I didn't know his friend had passed away, so my condolences. Uh, and second, listen, it's going to be a pinch me moment, I'm sure. You know, this, is, uh, th this was somebody that legitimately was, was my hero in boxing growing up. This is not me just saying that because I'm here. Like I said, I did a school project on Floyd. I watched every one of his fights since the Otero Gatti fight on. When I seen that fight, I said, I never seen anybody throw combinations with the intent and the speed and the accuracy of that man, and I was captivated that night on. So I've been Team Mayweather since I'm nine years old, but like I said, when it's time to get the business, we're gonna get the business, and we're gonna fight. Are you saying that you've watched all his fights and now you know the, the key to the May Vinci code? Is that what you're trying to tell us? <laughs> uh, no, nah, listen, I emulate his style in some things I do in the gym, you know, that's for sure, but I don't think there is a May Vinci code. I think I just got to take the fight to him. I'm going to show him different looks, something that these past uh, YouTubers, whatever you want to call them, didn't do because they all suck, and, and we're going to go from there. But you could bet, listen, I don't make no promises. You could bet Floyd's going to have to earn his money June 11th, and he's going to work mentally and physically on that night. I promise you that. So the, the, famously, it's been said that by, by a bunch of haters that uh, Floyd got touched by Deji. Yeah, all right. So you, you're, you're better than Deji, so you're saying that you're going to do more I'm to Floyd? better than all of them. All of them. Listen to me. They, they all were saying, Uncle, Logan Paul and Deji, when they were in that ring, they were, they were pleading with Floyd. Come on, champ. It's an exhibition. Come on, champ. Chill. Come on. These, these, are, these, are, these are boxes right here, and they'll, they'll go about saying how uh, they beat Floyd Mayweather, this, that, and the third. Who wants to hear these people? This is, they're a joke, and they got big phones on Instagram, whatever they got, so that's why they're here. This is a real fight. I established my own, my own identity in mixed martial arts, and now I'm boxing. I'm not here to play. I'm all business, and, and I'm ready to fight. That's it. You know, I just, Gotti, I love his confidence, you know, um, every fighter. But it, it doesn't matter, whatever you're doing, you need, whatever you can, whenever you're competing at the highest level, or whatever level, you have to believe in yourself. And what's so great about him is he believes in his skills, he believes in his talent, and he, he built his own name, so the only thing you can do is respect that. Well, he's supposed to have a game plan, you know. He's supposed to believe in his skills, believe in his talent. Um, he wouldn't be up here if he didn't believe in his skills or he didn't believe in his talent. So I'm, I'm just happy that he's carrying on the last name, but he's doing it the way that he wants to do it. So, you know, my hat, my hat, off, my hat is off to him and his team and his family, you know. Um, I want him to continue to grow within the sport, whether it's MMA, whether it's boxing, whether it's karate, whether it's judo. I want him to continue just to work hard, believe in the skills, believe in the skills continue to push, um, because anything is possible. In years times 10. <laughs> this, this, like I said, I would, before there was YouTube, LimeWire, I was watching Floyd's videos at nausea. Like it was weird almost. Like that's how much I supported this individual. So the fact that I'm up here, and getting ready to fight him, it's, it's a pinch me moment. But you know what? Like I said, you got to take advantage of these opportunities because they only come every so often. So that's what we're going to do. You know, <clears throat> I'm sorry, John. I want to I wanna speak on something. Even though I don't know him, I know I'm very, very, I'm friends with his dad. That's what people don't know. You know, I've always been friends with the Gotti family. That's what a lot of people don't know. Of course, John Gotti Jr., how you doing, John? It's always good seeing you. It's always great talking with you. And um, I'm happy that we're able to get this, finally get this done. We've been working on this for a couple years now. Could be, yeah, for, for a long time. And um, of course, um, a great last name for this battle. Last name means everything. So your know, last name matters, but I just want to say thank you, John, once again. You've always been a class hack, a gentleman, um, a respectful, a respectful man. And your son has been busting his ass working extremely hard, whether it's MMA or boxing. And um, to be the best, you got to continue just to fight, improve yourself. And that's what I did. And I'm glad we're able to come together and make this event happen.